I started making up and telling stories a while ago, rarely putting them down. My grandfather was a storyteller. The auntie was his name. People said he was a great fabulator. What he told was always fitly spoken, always in place. I regret to say I didn't happen to know Grandpa Leonti or hear his fairy tales though. While working at a fairy tale, the memory restores some particular phrases, proverbs and words, such as how hot-tempered you are might burn my hand if I touch you. Or as one young girl, a visitor from Penega, spoke about her life. In the morrow, my mommy was there, waking me up, and me just hurry up sleeping. I met Simeon Malina back in 1928. He lived in the village and was fond of telling stories about his troubled childhood. At our parting, he told me how he and his grandfather traveled over Carpathians in a ship, and how the Roska dog caught wolves. In honor of the memory of all nameless northern storytellers, the clansmen and fellow countrymen of mine, I tell my tales on behalf of Semyon Malina. Based on the stories by Stepan Pizankov, Malin Malinich, Malina's Blue Link. This was a long time ago, in olden times. At that time, I hadn't yet seen what parades be like. But one winter, there was a big fair with a parade on the main square. They brought soldiers, cannons, many people came over to see. So did I. Too much fuss, so I went to the fence, sat down, and took thought. In a while, I saw all the cannons turned in my direction. I sat on calmly, no doubt those are blank charge, I thought. Suddenly, the cannons fired. Something snatched me and threw me over the fence and away, gave me a twiddle, and then banged my feet hard against the ice going down and saw different kinds of fish sleeping as much fish as you can imagine the deeper the bigger on the very bottom i ran across the most huge blue ling or nalm as we say sleeping tightly as i came he woke up rushed to the ice hole
then flew directly to the main square where the fair was. When the Nalan heard the harmonic playing, he began to dance. The people laughed and threw money into the hat. All of a sudden, the village constable appeared. When he saw the Nalem, he said, This blue ling would work well for a fish soup, while his liver would make some really good paste. Take the fish to where I show you. But I said, Your Constable Excellency, this fish is not for sale. It is rather a dog, since it can both dance and serve me well. He said, Why, then who gave you permission to dance on the main square? You either do what I tell you, or I'll send both of you to Siberia. There was nothing to do, so we had to go. At his house, he gave me one silver rubble for the blue link and told his lady cook to take him to the pantry. But my dear Nalem friend jumped out of the window and followed me. Didn't I rejoice? Then I decided to teach the constable a lesson. Seeing the Nalem again, the constable stood dumbfounded. This other blue ling would suit my appetite just well. Then he gave me another rubble. And the lady cook took the fish to the pantry. But the melon again jumped out of the window and went straight back to me. I put a chain over my nilum and walked him along the street like a dog. They didn't let us into a tram, though. The conductress asked for stamped paper proving that the blue link was not a fish, but a hunting dog. Well and good, we walked home just fine. When home, I put an old doll troll full of water inside the kennel and set my nilum there. Upon my door, then I put a writing, Beware of Banling. <laughs> then I drank my fill of tea and sat by the window to show off, cut my chin in hands, and made up a name for my new gatekeeper. Nail him, Malinich.
Ложка было, два брата, два лазаря. А один был ведь братец, богатый человек. А другой, один братец, убогий человек. Тут из дома богатого ты пиру не пирова, а пиру не пирова, пошел и гостей он зазыва. Теперь ворота мила залежи, теперь широким убой человек. Тут измолился убой, я ты брат тут твое. Уж ты братец, ты братец, богатый человек. Уж ты напои на кореми, так и тебе Бог ведь и заплати. А плюнул богатый, да прочь само то, что. А что ты мне за братец, да что ты за родно. А есть у меня братцы, ведь получше тебя. Получше тебя, их много золота, серебра.